and he's back. So don't forget to tip your waiters and waitresses. Well, you, were you getting dressed all uh, or changed? All right, well, first of all, Justin, congratulations on your victory. Marvin, great season. And Ken, like Rob said, you're getting used to being on the podium again. Um, let's start with you, Marvin. There was a championship, but it was a long shot. Uh, it looked like you gave it all you had. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was yeah, kind of close, but it was uh, d definitely uh, a lot of points uh, down, you know, coming into Ironman. And uh, like you said, it's been, uh, yeah, a good season. I mean, um, I was able, the goal was definitely to be consistent and uh, more on the podium than last year. And uh, that's what I did. But the competition was, uh, was very tough. And um, I gave my best and... I was able to, yeah, get consistent, get some wins, but definitely, uh, definitely a tough season. And uh, yeah, I got second again. Yeah. You and Cooper Webb found yourselves together for several laps in that second moto. Uh, was it fun, or was it like, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is Cooper Webb. That's all, that's all I can say. <laughs> um, and then, and then I finally <laughs> got got the pass and. And then, and then, I, and then he disappeared. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 hard. I mean, he, he, he fight really hard, but then when I made the pass stick, it was it was it was done. You know what I'm saying? So I, yeah. You had to do not, it twice. Not much to say. You had to do it twice because the guy wrecked in front of you. Uh, he, yeah, yeah. Lapper just yeah crashed right in front of me, so he, he got me back, and I had to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Ken, uh, slowly but surely, you've been getting up there, and and the speed's there, the fitness looks like it's getting there, and I like to think your confidence is back. Yeah, I mean, if you think about where we came from in Hangtown, and I guess nobody really ever sees a struggle like during the during the week before. Um, and it was tough, like, kind of get thrown in there with nothing, just kind of showed up and race. Honestly, a week or two before Hangtown, I didn't even know if I was gonna end up like racing the first round because uh, I still had problems with my hand. But we just, you know, it's the best practice that you're gonna get. And it just seems like that halfway through, um, or red butt, you know, obviously I was not the podium before a couple times, but it then it seemed like we really started picking it up and we finished on the podium a bunch of times and, and second and um, and just finishing it off here today with uh, third in the championship. Uh, that was that was the goal coming into this weekend mm -hmm. and another um, another solid race and uh, solid weekend in general being second again. So that's really what I wanted to do. And um, obviously we have the uh, motocross of nations here in a little bit planning on having a good race there too but it's just it's just good to finish this outdoor season healthy and and um and fairly strong that's really all I was looking for for this whole season I needed to get some races under my belt and I feel like I can show up now and and just have it be uh you know a normal weekend where before it kind of felt foreign a little bit being mm -hmm. on the gate with so many riders and all that so but it was good it's, it's hard to get that race shape if you're not racing absolutely yeah during the week there's only really that much you can do and then you want to show up being pretty, uh, pretty strong and not tired. So it was, um, it was a tough one, but it was a good learning year. Mm -hmm. And Justin, I know a year ago you bought a Honda at Morgantown uh, <laughs> in West Virginia, and, and we're full privateer. How amazing is this turnaround that you just signed an extended deal, the Yamaha, you, you're Team USA again, and you're winning nationals? Yeah, pretty crazy to think where I, uh, you know, started the beginning of the year. It was uh, difficult times for sure. I've really had to, uh, you know, revamp my, my whole career pretty much. But, uh, you know, just very grateful for the opportunities I've been given. And, uh, you know, my uh, never give up attitude has got me to where I am today. But, uh, yeah, all year I was just, uh, you know, I, I said, uh, you know, I just want to win a moto and then I'll be able to put it together. And, uh, you know, I waited all year, I guess, and got did it today with a 1-1, which is, you know, great to end the season. I'm super happy. We've been working really hard and, uh, you know, the work doesn't really stop for us. We're going to keep on going and uh, we got some races coming up, some big ones, so be good. Yeah, well, good deal. Um, Gabby? Hey, Justin, talk about that second moto start. Actually, all three of you guys can. The, the, the cluster of the four of you were on the inside there and, man, that was a do or die start. Yeah, it was crazy because you know, Chad had that cheater line on the inside, both oh, motos. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I feel like it should have probably been, like, blocked off with, like, some hay bales or something because it was, like, not part of the track. It was grass, but, like, he made it work, which we any of us could have did it because I, I had a better gate pick, but I was just like, I'm not going to do that. So, uh, yeah, old, old old man Chad, he had that hotline today experience. But, uh, 
Yeah, it was a crazy start anyways. Like, I snuck around the outside of Chad, and I flat-tracked the whole whole second corner around him. I was like, there's no way I'm eating this dude's roost. Like, I didn't want nothing to do with it. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a crazy race for sure. And then, uh, you know, Kenny was behind me pretty much the whole race, and, the you know, pulled a little gap and uh, crashed two times the second to last lap. And, uh, you know, it, it was a crazy race. It was a wild day for sure. And Marv, you're lined up next to Eli. And you guys are still battling for the championship at that point. Uh, yeah, I mean, I saw that line before, and and then I liked it, and and then Eli took the one right next to it. I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta go right next to him. So, yeah, you never know, you know, you you you, you try, and I was definitely my goal was to to get in front of him, you know, and then because uh, when you see the mud and all the the water, you know, it's uh. It's not good when you don't get a good start, and that's that's what I felt in the first moto, and um, my start was better second moto. Uh, Justin, you just kind of mentioned that the end of the moto got uh, the second moto got a little bit sketchy. <laughs> Can you just kind of walk us through like what happened and what was going on in your mind when you were going through that? Uh, I mean, yeah, I just was like had a really good uh, pace and was flowing good with the track, and like that's this kind of track will bite you know bite you quick. So I, yeah, I just kind of fell over and stole it so I had to you know luckily I got electric start so that helps but fired it back up and then uh, down the hill I fell again <laughs> so uh, yeah I was a little flustered to say the least but uh, I was able to mentally pull it together for uh, you know a lap and a half and uh, you know pull it off but it was uh, yeah this I mean the, tr the way the track came around the second moto was was really good unfortunately it was only you know one good line though there was like two here and there but for the most part there was that one main groove that was you know the hot line. The first moto too. I think you were leading, then Phil got back around you, and then you kind of regrouped. What you know, was it just conditions or what? Yeah, the first moto was uh, more more tough for me because uh, you know I was wearing roll-offs and I got a lot of mud on the side of them, and so I went to pull some off, and my finger slipped under the the roll-off and just trashed them. I couldn't see anything on this side, so I had to pull them, and uh, yeah, I, I went down. So Phil got around me, and. Uh, you know, I played it kind of smart, I guess, because I, you know, set it up to where I could, well, not really set it up, but I got fit through the rollers. I, I saw the opportunity. I was like, I need to take it here because if I keep getting roosted by him, you know, I'm done. Because I didn't want to pull in the mechanics area. I knew that would have, you know, wouldn't yeah, have got me the win. Did you think about pulling in? Or? Yeah, yeah, I thought about it <laughs> quite a few times, and I was like, it was a difficult decision. But, you know, I, luckily I, I got, if I didn't get around Phil, I probably would have had to pull in. But uh, luckily I got that pass and uh, just kind of put my head down and, and dealt with a little bit of roost. And it's been since 15 since you've won a moto and overall get them in the same day. Davey talked about it a little bit. You know, did you kind of question if you would get back to this level? And I guess what's been the biggest change for you in this year? I mean, your podium, back on the podium and everything. So. Yeah, I could go on for a while, I suppose. There's been a lot of, you know, ups and downs in my career. But, uh, yeah, I guess the biggest, you know, I, I knew I could win for sure. I, you know, all year I've just been wanting to get a moto win kind of to get me back on track. That's all I was, like, asking for. And these last, you know, few weekends were difficult. I struggled a little bit. And uh, so, yeah, but uh, all in all, I, you know, I just got the, you know, opportunity at Yamaha and, you know, took advantage of it. And uh, they're a great team. It's been uh, a pleasure working with them. And, uh, you know, I get to obviously now work with them in the future for a couple more years. And, uh, you know, I hope to keep going with them. But, yeah, just, uh, you know, a fresh start, a uh, good opportunity on a, bu a new bike that I like, I enjoy, and a uh, good team and, you know, good people around me. It's, uh, you know, that's a, just a good atmosphere makes life a lot, a lot easier. And Ken, the second moto, you, I think you pulled within two or three seconds and then kind of dropped back. Just take us through the second moto a little bit. Yeah, we were, uh, we were kind of yo-yoing a little bit. I didn't want to eat all the roost right away in the beginning because the helmets get damn heavy. Um, and then I actually I busted out the triple step up a couple of laps, and then, but it was, you know, I was clicking gears down there to try and make it, and it, wasn't, it didn't really happen again. But, no, yeah, we were, we were, we were right, you know, right behind each other. And uh, obviously once the lappers kind of come, it can either, like, being the leader could either help you or bite you. But, you know, once you're behind, like, two or three guys, there's either, you know, it, it's no point in going out of the main line and, and struggle in the mud and still not make the pass. So you literally almost have to just go behind him and wait and try to make the pass happen. So he got a little gap, and, and uh, obviously he was going really good. I was going pretty good. And, and then in the end, I knew points-wise I, I have to finish uh, a second at least if he wins. So I was just trying to stay right there and, and be somewhat mistake-free, you know. It's almost impossible on a track like that. But part of the track, 
actually that half of the track back there was not bad, but then you came closer to the finish line over here, and it was kind of a, uh, it was pretty tough. So, um, and especially once you c catch up to the lappers, it starts getting, uh, it starts getting a little hairy right there. Hey Ken, what was your pit stop like? Well, um, in the first moto, yeah. yeah. So I actually I had some uh, struggles with my tear offs, and um, I couldn't pull them anymore. Like I think I ripped the, um, I ripped the handle off of it. And then, so I kind of had to rip them off of the front of my lens and kind of like the same thing what Justin said, I, I caught the, the actual roll off and, and ripped it out. And then I, it smeared, but I, cut, I got a little gap there where I could see and all I wanted to do, because I had a little gap to the front, all I wanted to do is to the, uh, for the field to separate a little bit. So I kept it, I rode for like maybe two or three laps without pulling in and then uh, just to space out a little bit so I could pull in, get goggles on without losing a spot. So that's kind of like the plan right there. And then I had um, tear-offs on, and that's when actually I, I was moving pretty good and then uh, got up to third. Yeah, and then what about the second moto start? You were right next to Chad. Did you think about taking that spot? No, I didn't really like it. Like, it didn't look that good to me and not that appealing. And if you don't get the start, there was a plastic piece up there. So I don't know. It was just kind of sketchy to me, and I didn't want to mess with it. So... Um, but it was a drag race down there, you know, and you're kind of, everybody's kind of hydroplaning right there because there's a lot of water. It's super sketchy, actually. So I just wanted to get through the start and then, yeah. and then make it, uh, keep it on two wheels, make it through the first turn, and then go from there. Yeah. It was probably my fault. I was supposed to put the stakes up, and I got yeah, busy. Yeah, because they were fixing it as well. Like, they were doing the shovel and fixing it, and I, I agree with Justin. Like, it should have been blocked off. Yeah, it will be next year. <laughs> they're just trying to help Chad out. It's all right. <laughs> First race back. But you got to give him credit. Two no, old shots yeah. or almost old shots. Honestly, with that line, you could have probably started in fourth gear and probably still pulled the whole Yeah, <laughs> that was a good line. <laughs> and, and finally, that may have been Chad Reed's last motocross race. He give said him the whole shot. Yeah, yeah, you can have the whole <laughs> no, shot. No, but uh, impressed by that guy? No, it was great. In the first moto especially, I, I caught up to him at one point, and all I could smell was clutch. <laughs> That's for sure. But no, I was pumped for him. He did, he did pretty good. Yeah. All right, any more questions? All right, Justin, thank you. Marvin, thank, thank you. you. Kane, thanks.